Okay, boys and girls, happy Friday, and today we're going to work on something called uh, function machines. I should say function, uh, functions. Okay, so here's a function machine, and basically what it means is this. When you put a number in, so if I put a number 5 in, what comes out is 7, so I have to figure out how did it go up. So this one obviously would be plus 2. So let's see a different one. So if I put 6 in, and the output is 18, you could say it's plus 12, that would be correct, but if I put another number in, like 7, and get 21, so you have to see the relationship there, and the relationship is times 3. Let's just try one more, and then we're going to do uh, a bunch together. So let's say you have 21, and the output is 7. You don't know for sure yet, because let's try 20... Um, let's try 24 and the output is 8 so you would see that when you go from 21 to 7 24 to 8 you're dividing by 3 okay so let's try some of these together so you're gonna need a pencil a paper and that's it and then you're gonna pause after I tell you to pause and then hit play to check your answers so let's do the first couple first three together so the first one, if I look at the numbers, this is my input, and this is the output. So if I put 36 in, I get 37. We have to figure out this box here. If I put 69 in, I get 70. 14 in, I get 15. 48 in, I get 49. So you can see it's going up by 1. So we're adding 1. Okay, so what you're trying to do here is figure out the rules. So this one, I got 31 to 21, 74 to 64, 94 to 84, 95 to 85. So I'm going down. So if you're going down like that, you either are going to divide or subtract. It looks like I'm subtracting, and I'm subtracting 10. So my answer uh, for this box is 8. So we are subtracting, oops, sorry, subtracting 10. All right, next one. I don't have anything for the first. So if I look at the next, I go 4 to 20, 8 to 40, 5 to 25, 10 to 50. And you're going up, and you're not adding, you're multiplying. So we're multiplying by 5, and this answer is 15. Okay, so ready? So now I'm going to give you a couple. So here's uh, three of them. Okay, so when you're ready, pause it, and then hit play when you got the answers. Okay, so here's the answers. So for number 4, uh, this output over here is, is we are, sorry, we are dividing by 3. So when you divide by 3, this answer here is 6. For the next one, we're adding 15. So this answer is 76. For the next one, we're subtracting 5. So that answer is 98. Okay, so the next two I'm going to show you, it's very similar. So what you need to do on these is you need to figure out, and there's cookie again, you need to figure out um, we're going from the inbox here sorry inbox to the out so we start with 3 we go to 18 start with 5 we go to 60 and so forth so you are multiplying by 6 so that answer is 48 for this one we're going from 10 to 5 16 to 8 18 and 9 4 to 2 so we're going down and we are dividing so we're dividing by 2 but you have to multiply by 2 to get this 14 but the rule is divide by 2 alright next page you guys are going to do number 9 and number 10 and pause it and then hit play when you got it okay so the next one the inbox for number 9 is 53 and the rule is add 6 the uh, out box here is 61 and the rule is subtract 13 okay we're going to do a two more okay so these two Pause it and then hit play for the answer. Okay, so number 11. Number 11, the answer is 8. And the rule is multiply by 7. Number 12, the answer is 90. And it's divide by 10. Alright, so the next couple that we're going to do, I'm going to show you the first three. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're actually going to give the rule as in uh, like an algebraic equation. So when you look through these, you'll see that we have n 
and O, those are our variables. This one's J and K. So we need to do something to N to get to O. So for example, I have N, which is these numbers here. I'm going to add, I figured out that it's going to be plus 3. So plus 3 equals O. Okay, and I'll just put a uh, line through it to make sure you know it's O. All right, um, actually I shouldn't have done that. Just leave it as O. Line through it means 0. All right, so for number 2, we have J. We have to do something with J to get K. So we're going to subtract 2 equals K. And remember, K is your output. So this is the input, this is the output, this is the rule of what we're doing. All right, I'll do one more with you, and then you're going to do some. So we have J, and what we're doing is dividing by 4 equals K. Now you could write it like that, or you could write it like this, J over 4 equals K. Okay. Whoops, sorry about that. Let me get to our right page. All right, so you have three to do, so pause it and then hit play. Okay, so first one, I'll give you the answers. We have u times 7 equals v, or you could write 7u equals v also if you wanted. Number five is d divided by 10 equals e, and number six is going to be w divided by 6 equals x. All right, next couple. All right, pause it when you have it, when you're ready, and then hit play um, when you have the answers. Okay, next one is g times 3 equals h, because you have g here. You're timesing this number by 3 to get to the output, which is h. So number 8 will be r divided by 5, so this is your input to your output, equals s. Okay, two more. Okay, pause and then hit play when you're ready. All right, next, this one right here is d plus 16 equals e. And then uh, the number 10 is q minus 2 equals r. Okay, you have two sheets then online to uh, work on. And have a great weekend, boys and girls. Also, did you notice that I changed my profile picture?